What's up, everybody? Welcome back. ATS Hotshot Owner Operator Series. Here we are going to Seattle. Nevertheless, let's hop into it and get going. Turn the truck on. Put her in gear. And it looks like we can go up and around this way. Oh, God. Didn't think I was going to make that turn. Oh my god. That's gonna be bad. Okay, we're good. Could have probably just backed up. But... Still feels like I need my tow mirrors pulled out, man. They're just. I don't know. Alright, we're on the road though. Finally. And my steering wheel's off centered. Imagine that. It's like that happens when I make sharp turns. But not the end of the world. Let's see, what time are we at? We are at 5 p.m., so we will be driving through the night here. But not the end of the world. See anyone coming? Yeah, I'm trying not to go in their lane too much, but sometimes that just happens. On this truck, it feels like the wheel just wants to yank to the, to the left sometimes. Like I really make sure I'm grabbing onto it. Should be good. The streets are pretty tight here. Like a big rig through here, I think, would be really tight. Are we on gas? About half a tank. Why don't we pull in here really quickly? I just pulled, drove over the curb. Let's see if the trailer is going to be nice to us. Oh, yeah, didn't hear that. Really quickly, you're paying $4.99 a gallon here for diesel, not too too bad, and it's already full. I forget the truck, so it's not a whole lot. And then we get to see if our trailer is gonna make it through here, does barely. Time to get turned around and back on the road, but don't have to worry about gas now. Now that we got a full tank, could rest here. But I don't think we need to. I think we're okay. Don't be coming that way. Looks like we're good. So yeah, we're taking some iron pipes down to Seattle, or over to Seattle, I guess is the correct terminology here, because we're all the way up at northwestern part here of Washington, and we are headed to Seattle, so towards the coast. Going way too fast around that corner. Almost took that pull out. Sometimes getting back in the in the you know, pickup truck compared to the semi is just such a difference, and it can really throw you for a loop sometimes. But not the end of the world. I go back to work tomorrow as I'm recording this, so we are. Recording this on Labor Day, but you guys will probably see it way after that. Or you will. I already have the week stuff posted. I record quite a bit in the future. Eventually that'll probably change, but... Just try to find time when I can, and... You guys see it whenever it gets posted. I'll probably get away with posting more here soon. But again, I kind of wanted to wait until we got into the new house, which... Still in the works. Still filing all the paperwork and stuff. But here we are in the Ford. I think taking this, uh, so it was going to take us down to a, through a big city that we've already been through. I don't remember the city name off the top of my head. <clears throat> but this way uh, seems like maybe some smaller roads, but it looks like more of a scenic route, so that's why I chose it. 
You guys seem to like this uh, hot shot and series, so we're gonna keep on going with it. Uh, bring in college. Oh, excuse me, college basketball back. I know college basketball season is starting soon, uh, so we will be doing that series as well. Would be kind of cool to just to post the videos on the days like the calendar says in the game, but. I'm not sure. I don't think I want to wait that long. So here you guys can see my marker. Uh, I put that marker there just to send me on a different route. And then that should go away. Oh, I guess it does. Yeah, it goes away. And then we'll just keep on going down here. And it'll drop us into Seattle. It kind of goes, takes us along the top of the map and then, then drops us down. But as you can tell, more, a little more of a scenic route. Or route, however you pronounce it. Really pretty. Got a big turn here. So I want to slow down a little bit. Car on the side of the road. A little charger. Making sure we keep our truck in the lane and not going too fast here. So for a pickup truck, this isn't too bad, but a big rig to going on this road might not be the best. I know we're over that line a little bit, <laughs> but that is okay. Look at these big trees along the roadside here. It is really pretty. Maybe get an outside shot a little bit. Wow. That's cool. Might even be the thumbnail, you never know. <laughs> Look it off it into the distance, man. Wow. Really amazing. Really is. This is why I like Toby. By the way, we are looking left, right, all round with the Toby head tracker. But the big reason I like the Toby is this. I can just look off into the distance and see basically forever, it feels like. Really is magical. All right, onward to our destination. Semi looks like he's getting mad at me. I think we should pick up the speed a little bit here. Try not to get our destination too late, but seems like we're good on time. We don't really have to worry about time too much. Making $700 today on this run. I don't know how realistic the hot shot is. It seems like the money's pretty good. So I don't know. Not too sure. We'll eventually head back to Montana to our garage. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> that was close. And pick up a different trailer. Maybe do some car hauling or something. But for right now, we're going to hang out in Washington for a little bit, make some good money, and then head back home. The match is going to start getting dark here soon. Got this beautiful blue F-350 though. I really got to be careful of those bends, man. It does really drift if I don't slow down to an appropriate speed. Which is fair. Makes sense. It's like we might be coming down into a town. You can never tell how fast I'm actually going because... Okay, still going pretty quick. That's better. Just because uh, the speedometer in the truck doesn't actually work. So, it's kind of unfortunate, but... There's a cop crime scene there, it looks like. Kind of inch our way up here. See anybody coming from the right? I think we're good to go. It's not actually a crime scene, but that's just their way of blocking that road off. We still got 35 here. I would assume this is going to open it back up. And it does. We'll put the hammer down a little bit and try to get... I think we're projected to be there about 12, 1 o'clock around there somewhere. Not too hot out today. 79. It was like 85 today here where I'm at. And it just felt so warm. I don't know why. It just felt blazing hot.
We're also not holding a whole lot of weight back there. It's like 1,900 pounds. It's like having nothing back there. So I gotta be wary of that. Just cause try to not be too much all over the road. It's like we're dropping down to 50. Again, no idea how fast we're going, but that's okay. Another town, maybe. We got a Blake's Chicken Motel 6. Whoa, wasn't paying attention. It's gonna get me one of these times. It's like we're in some sort of city. Omak. Omak. Something. Probably not pronouncing that right. But that's alright. So we're kind of going on the outskirts of that town. Omak. Bunch of farmland up here, too. See a train. What if we got tracks to worry about or not? Looks like these tracks just run along the side of the road here. Doesn't look like we have to worry about them too much. We can kind of just cruise. Not worry too much. I'm not seeing Seattle on the signs yet, so. I know we're still pretty far away. Got about four or five more hours left on this journey. Man, there's no way that's right. Let me pull that up. That five hours, wow. That's crazy. Long trip today, but not the end of the world. Whoa. I'm going way too fast around these bends. They're just sneaking up on me a little bit, I guess. Pay attention to road sides more, maybe the GPS a little bit. Is that all kind of the scenery? Ooh, speaking of all kind of the scenery, almost crashed because I saw a plane. Yeah, that plane just landed. Must be a little air airstrip here. That is. That is pretty cool. Slow down a little bit so I don't crash. Probably a good idea. Ah. That's how I know I'm not speeding right now, I guess. <laughs> Scenery's not as beautiful now. <laughs> it's a little dry, but it's okay. Right big old ranch there. And the train tracks just go around the whole way. Oh, that's really pretty. I like seeing the river like that. That's cool. Gonna be getting into nighttime here very soon. Turn those headlights on so we don't get in trouble. I know that mod's working. <laughs> The no headlight mod. Or we would have just got a ticket when that cop passed us. It's gonna be weird. Just had a week, a uh, little over a week off. Uh, gotta go back to the grind tomorrow, unfortunately. But gotta do what you gotta do. Make some money. I don't know. I don't mind it, but. I would love a job, not such long hours, or even going in earlier so I can get out earlier. I hate getting out at 4.35, not getting home until almost 6 some nights. But, pays the bills. It's just a dealership, man. Dealerships suck. <laughs> Everyone's so negative. The customers kind of suck. Some of them are cool, but it's not ideal. Realistically, I want to wait till we move to even look for something. That's the other thing. When I move, it's going to almost double my drive. I know my pickup truck I'm getting, you know, 15 miles to the gallon or whatever it gets. Not really ideal. A little gas station here. Is that Shell? I didn't catch that logo on that. Didn't look familiar. Wenatachi. I am probably butchering that, but definitely a native uh, name, which is kind of cool. And a stoplight coming up. That's the only thing I worried about on small roads is uh, getting some traffic. Um, 
but honestly I'm not super worried about it just given the time of day it's getting late usually not too much traffic this at this hour good to go sometimes I swing the pickup truck way too wide just because I'm used to driving the big semis but it's not the end of the world this two lanes kind of seems to be I'm just gonna get in this far lane because I'm not going too fast right now probably going through another town the river is beautiful a lot of beautiful scenery here we got another traffic light coming up the Ornable Garage that's what that is I'm gonna get over but I did. Probably wouldn't have made that light if I didn't. Yeah, that just turned yellow. Definitely wouldn't have. You need to get over. Oh, forgot. I still haven't changed the buttons. Thank you, man. Appreciate you letting us in. Ooh. Got over a little bit and they were slowing down on me. Pretty sure this is a Cummins in this. Looks like we're good. Ah, uh, you can bypass. Sweet. We will do that. Appreciate it, guys. Don't need anything slowing us down any more than we already are. gonna get over because turn only but we're not turning it looks like you guys are going very slow it's getting pretty dark and late don't need to sit here and listen to the blinker the whole time ooh this stoplight looks fun <laughs> sometimes the brakes are touchy sometimes they're not enough Never get a sweet spot. <clears throat> Come on, people. Let's go. It's kind of rolling down this hill a little bit. Uh. <laughs> He's rolling doubles. I mean, you kind of have to turn out. Really need to sit here and have my blink run. As long as there's nobody coming, guys, I can just go. Looks like we should be good. Keep on going. We are just about 10 p.m. here. We're expected to be there about uh, 1 a.m. So we do have about three hours left, or so, give or take. I'm gonna get over get around this guy here in the doubles. Might even try to get around this cement truck. I feel like I probably am faster. And that turn made me nervous. Passed me back. We're gonna drag race up this hill apparently. Should pull them eventually, but we'll see. <laughs> Maybe not. I braked going around that bend just to be safe, but it was powering through it apparently. Ooh, sorry, man. Definitely cut him off. That was my bad. Right lane ends. Left. <laughs> I was waiting for one of the lanes then as soon as I got over. But it's not our lane, so we're good. I don't know what all the cabin noises are, guys. I've turned them down. They annoy you, I'm sorry. You guys might not hear them as much as I am too, to be honest. But, that's what we'll see. I've complained about it. I haven't really listened for them too closely in the recording. Sorry, I saw something in the corner of my office. So here we 
here we go down the big hill. I feel like I'm going way too fast. I'm using the Jake brake. Even though this truck probably technically wouldn't have one. But I have been told that F350s and like 3500s do have kind of an engine brake. Which that's essentially what the Jake brake is. So. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I'm cheating using it, but. Sometimes it feels necessary. I gotta slow down anyways. This looks like another town. Like an actual town though. Got truck service. Sorry, my head a itch on my foot. Where are we? Are we going to Spokane? I thought we were going to Seattle. I don't know, man. I could be wrong. Sure, there's nobody coming. Looks like we're good to go. Looks like we're getting back on a highway, maybe. Route 90, 97, something like that. Route 90 West. All right. people are gonna let these trucks merge and we don't stop on the freeway <laughs> it's not a joke right, I'm getting out get around these guys gotta be about an hour or two hours left here actually it was a lot longer trip than I thought it was gonna be but it's okay. All right, I'm gonna be this jackass. I don't know why you're over there, dude. You should never pass on the right. I got over just to make sure he had plenty of room, but he did. We can get back over. Those trucks are only 60. I'm sure we're speeding. I could bypass it. Okay. Ah, uh, doesn't look like we're speeding too bad. Still got another two hours left on this journey. While we're on the highway here, I think I'm gonna just put the hammer down and try to make up some time. Because that makes the most sense. Need to get in an accident with this guy. Because the AI sometimes will just, they'll just come out. They don't really care. Alright. I might have a speed limiter on. Just so I don't go like crazy. It is so dark in this game. Sometimes I forget. But damn. <laughs> Picking up speed now should be helping us. Gotta be careful not to go too fast. That's why when I go this speed to coming down hills and stuff, it makes me think I don't have a limiter on. Go down Route 90 to the other side of Washington. I don't know how many more trips I'll do. Uh, before we head back home to uh, to Montana. Break a little bit coming down the hill here. Because it will just slide, slide, slide. I'm just going to get in this lane. I have a feeling going down this hill we are going to outbreak them. I am moving right now. It's kind of sketchy.
feel like maybe I should slow down, but I also feel like we're probably making good time right now. We got a... I don't think that's going to be us, but it's tough to say. Keep on going. Thank you. Appreciate it, dude. You guys just don't get over. It's kind of annoying. Kind of cut him off a little bit. They want us to get over all the way. So I would assume that means we are getting off soon. Probably go cruise in the middle lane a little bit, but it's probably play it safe. I'll get around this guy. I feel like we gotta be coming into a big city. We got triple lane highways on both sides. Tough to say though. through a tunnel. This Portland. You going the right way? <laughs> I haven't seen one Seattle sign the whole way. Yeah, I think I'm just going to cruise in the middle. Oh, we're in Seattle right now. I have no idea where it's telling me to go. I think this way. And then this way? Nope. Not that way. Whoa. That's what I have to worry about when I remove blockers, man. I could not tell. I probably should turn uh, the GPS lady back on because she does tell me. She's like, she would have been like, keep left. And I would have actually known where to go, but it doesn't look like I took any damage on that, which is good. We hit it pretty hard. I don't know, maybe with it turned off it doesn't give you damage for having those on, I don't know. Alright, yeah, we're getting off and then over to our drop off. I don't remember where we're dropping this, so. so bear with me here. It said BSFW or something, I think it's like gonna be like a, like a metal shot place. It looks like we're going this way. It's hard to tell. All right. Looks like we're coming down. Probably going, I would consider it more the outskirts of Seattle, but I think we're good to get over. It looks like we have a stop sign. That was weird. I almost had a cop. I'm so confused. Looks like we're turning here. Where? Is like here? I almost hit them. <laughs> that was not a good job of paying attention there. Looks like we go over here. Me to stop. You know, I actually have to stop, but for the sake of realism. So, in here, you'd probably stop and they'd probably do an inspection. And I gotta get over there somewhere. So, I was wrong. This isn't a metal shop. This is a. Uh, where they're loading it on the trains. So. Looks like I keep going. Looks like I can veer off here. That's what I'll do. I'll probably drop in these like right on the train and the boom will probably pick them up. Load them on the train. So we'll stop the tracks. Looks like we're good. 
All right, we are almost done with whatever episode this is. I think it's three. No, excuse me, there's three or four. I definitely know it's not five, but they usually have a strap right here. And that's what we're doing. Perfect. And boom. Shut E off and have them unload us. And that'll be a wrap for this one. Perfect. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time, y'all. Peace.